So, Tommy, a nice win against, well, their Premier League opposition. We know it's their youngsters, but still a good good test for us, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, they're technically fantastic group we played against their athletic, technical ability, organisation. Listen, they're, they're an elite football club at an elite level of the game. Um, and it doesn't matter how old they are, you don't stay there very long if you're not at their level. So, um, yeah, it was a really good run out, a different run out to the ones we've had before. Um, I think it was an even spread of, of possession looking at the stats very quickly after the game but um, probably our nows now and know-how because of the age of uh, some of our players probably give us a, a bit of a a little bit of an advantage I think and that, that happens you know at the end of the day them lads quite rightly at their age just think about football 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 but we think about winning football as well so yeah I'm really pleased but um, Mark, Mark's got a hell of a group there and, and I'm sure one or two of them will, will go on to be household names at, at some stage in the future. We obviously fell behind quite early on, didn't we? So are you, are you proud of what the lads did to get back into the game and not let that affect them? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about showing disappointments. And, you know, I show disappointment when refereeing decisions don't go or we just miss a chance or whatever. But their players can't, you know, keep that in their mind. They've got to carry on and move on to the next phase of the game. So it happened that quickly. It was almost too quick for them. Um, and I think it took us about 10 minutes to sort of feel them out. We don't know how they're going to play, you know, we haven't gone and watched them or anything like that. So we know they're going to be quick, we know they're going to be technically good, and we know they're going to be very well organised, you know, in their shape, in their patterns of play. But I just felt, again, second game in a row, slightly different front two to start the game, but we got a press right, which meant when we, we got the hold of the ball, we retained it very well and we started our patterns the way we want to do it. So two games in a row against two very good oppositions. Um, not that the others weren't good, but very, very good levels of the game. And I just felt we've, we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And again, of course, they're young lads and I get that, but hey, they're elite young lads, let's not forget that either. Well, talking about your strike force there, it's, it's great to see obviously Kwame, Lauren and Jack all score today. So does that give you a few <laughs> selection problems when it does come round to it? Well, I mean, it's a better headache to have than not. I mean, I didn't have that when I came at the end of last season. So Jack looks like a, a new boy, to be honest with you, in terms of I just think his, his energy and his enthusiasm has been superb since he walked back through the door pre-season. Kwame, we know what we're going to get. Um, he's a physical specimen, a big lad, um, and he attracts attention from defenders. So when you've got that on the pitch, you know, pace, movement, strength, at that end of the pitch with them two, and then you add Lauren and then he's somewhere in between. So from that point of view, I'm really pleased with what we've got there. Um, like you said, it's going to be a, a big decision when it comes. They might all play, you never know. Now, I've got to ask about Christian. Do, you, do we have an update on him yet, or are we still waiting a, a, a few kind of scans or anything? Yeah. Well, we should know 24 hours. He'll, he'll be going to see a uh, specialist in London. Um, Liam, Liam's going off there with him, so we, we've got our fingers crossed. I mean, listen, the omens aren't great. We know, we all know that. He's a, he's, a, he's a lad who's had one injury in about eight seasons, and for him to, to have just gone down with nobody near him there's obviously something happened in there we're not exactly sure I think we've got an idea uh, we're just hoping with all the fingers the toes and everything else crossed that uh, we get the best possible whatever that can be best possible information back tomorrow and we, we've missed Kobe Rowe as well for the yeah. last two games yeah. can you give an update on him yeah, yeah it's really precautionary with him he's just had a little bit of tendonitis um, so a little bit of inflammation in one of his legs um, so we've just felt it right that we don't do something that's going to make it you know flare up he's played 40 games last season I believe so from that point of view we're not too worried about him not getting his money in this but he's doing a lot at the training ground so um, with a little bit of luck I would like to think he'd want to play against Sutton United on Saturday so we may well see him back in there for that game and just briefly looking ahead to that Sutton game it's, an, it's another good test for us isn't it another football league side huge Matt's done an unbelievable job I'm a good mate Matt's and he deserves huge credit um, over the last three or four years he's been there now so um, There'll be a different proposition to these and there'll be a different proposition to Wickham. So, and that's good because I think there'll be more, with all due respect, attuned to very good sides in the National League because they, they've won the National League very recently and they've gone up and held their own comfortably in the, in, in the EFL. So I've got utmost respect for Matt, Terry, people behind the scenes there. Um, and they've, I think that football club shows people how to build and they've gone from where they were. I used to play against them regularly for Eastbourne in the National South. They've gone through that, through the National League and into the EFL in our holding now and I hope they continue to do that. So we're looking forward to it. Um, but we'll enjoy this, we'll have a good rest uh, tonight, tomorrow, the lads um, will be back in on trip uh, in training on Thursday.
click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.